Blogging rushes adds metadata or written information to your media, making it easier to find when you edit your sequence. So we're going to start by loading some rushes into the play window. Your rushes, graphics and other files are found in the file window. If it is not already open, click the file button on the left panel to open the top level file window. You can log rushes one at a time or log an entire folder of rushes at once with Foreseen. Once you've selected your files or folders, simply double click or drag them into the play window. When loading folders into the play window, you will be asked to choose how these rushes should be sorted, date order, alphabetical order, or timecode aligned. Click to choose. When you load your media into your play window, the logging window should pop up at the bottom of your interface. If it doesn't come up automatically, just right-click on the Timeline View button and select the Logging option for your play window. Drag the window's title bar and drop it to move it to a convenient spot. Drag the bottom right corner to resize the window. In order to demonstrate how to set up your logging window, I have loaded a folder that has already been logged, as you can see. In and out time codes, shot descriptions and sync columns are automatically displayed in the logging window but you can add or delete columns from your view. Just right-click in the column header and choose which column you would like to display. Right-click to choose multiple column headers without closing the menu. Left-click to choose and close. You can customize the order of your columns by dragging them and dropping them in your preferred order. And adjust column width by dragging the edge of the column title cell. Sort the display of your logs according to the column information by clicking on the column header to sort in descending or ascending order. Let's explore the information and options presented in the logging window's title bar. The name of the rush or folder that you have loaded into your play window will be reflected here along with the duration. Search the clip loaded in the play window's logging entries for keywords with this search tool. The search is incremental and targeted. If you left-click the Options button, you are presented with options. You can choose to show unmatched lines when searching. So, if I search for BMX, matches will be highlighted, but I can still see all my logs. Whereas if I choose not to show unmatched lines when searching, my search will only show matches and will hide logs that don't match. You can also choose whether or not to show blank lines for unlogged clips, to merge duplicated rows when printing your logs, and whether multicam logging should save to all cameras. Right-clicking the Options button allows you to organize your logging entries according to the metadata in chosen logging window columns. Clicking the Export button opens an online preview of your log and gives you the option to print a hard copy. Right-clicking the Export button opens a CSV file of your log as a pop-up in your browser. This is transferable to other systems. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Keyboard Expansions, a great tool for speeding up your logging. Keyboard Expansions can be found by left-clicking the Shortcuts button on the left-hand panel. Keyboard Expansions are used to program function keys, F1 through to F12, to type text and to program abbreviations to automatically expand to words. So if you know that your logging is going to involve typing certain words repeatedly, you could either program one of the function keys to automatically type the word, or you could program an abbreviation to automatically expand to the word. This reduces the amount of typing you need to do while logging and also guarantees accurate spelling, which helps with search later. Let's try these out. If I click in the shot column, play my clip, and hit F1, and then type R, you can see the logging entry reads BMX and Rider. Expansions are triggered by typing a non-alphanumeric character after the abbreviation. So, I can type Rifle without triggering an expansion. But if I type R and then Spacebar, it expands to Rider. If you want to revert to the original abbreviation, just hit Backspace. You can also save different keyboard expansions for use in different projects. At the top of the Keyboard Expansions window, you will notice it has a name, and next to this there is a menu icon. Click this icon to see other keyboard expansions for this account. Choose one for use in your project.